Welcome to TA318. This is Michael Vinson. I'm recording this podcast to give you an overview of the website to help you get started on the right foot. So when you log into the course, you'll come to the course homepage. Down the left-hand side of the homepage is the course home tab and a tab for each week of the class. Across the top are tabs. Some of them you won't be seeing on your website because there are author tabs for me. The ones that I want to focus on are grade book and doc sharing. A couple of other things on the home page, the announcement section, look for that for updated information about the course that I'll be posting during the trimester. And down at the bottom, the what's new section will list all the websites that have been modified since the last time you logged on to the course. So let's go to Course Home. If you click on Syllabus, there's a copy of the syllabus there. It's right now identical to the one that was posted on the GGU website. You should not have a calendar tab. I don't use it. Welcome and introductions. I've given you a little bit of my background in history. I like you to do the same. You can do that by clicking on the respond tab. A text box will open up where you can write in your background, your, your interest, your family history. And what I would also ask you to do is to attach a photo of yourself. I find it really helpful in these type of classes to have people's pictures so I can make a connection between the written responses and you individually. Click on Browse. It'll open up a window to attach a file. Go ahead and attach a file. Expectation of the students. This is a really important section for you to read and understand. Golden Gate University teaches primary source authority in its courses. That means we're going to be looking at the Internal Revenue Code, the Treasury regulations, cases, rulings, things that have come out of the Internal Revenue Service. But what we're not going to be looking at are IRS publications, Commerce Clearinghouse summaries. We are interested in finding the law in its original primary form and learning how to read and understand that. That's going to affect both the types of answers I'm going to be looking for during the course and also the answers I'm going to be looking for on the exams. Beginning of the course gives you information on participation. There also should be an announcement available on participation. Your quizzes, an overview of the class. And then this is really important. This says to plan on spending 12 to 15 hours a week in this class. I've taught this class for a long time, and that's pretty accurate. Talking about the amount of time to read the materials, prepare the problem sets before the week begins, logging on to the class, taking part in the discussion groups, and then taking the quizzes and summarizing the materials that you learn during the week before you move on to the next week. 12 to 15 hours, I think, is, is, is pretty accurate. Uh, especially for people that have no background in tax. Professor's Office gives you some additional background information on the course, and it also has a respond button here where you can ask technical questions about the use of the website, not about the substantive materials that we're going to be studying for those who will be using the weekly tabs. Current events. I expect there'll be a lot of changes during this trimester as Congress meets to enact new legislation. So I'll be using the current events section to talk about what's happening in Congress, any new cases or news articles that come up during our time together that I think are relevant to the course. If you find things, you can post them there as well. And then the Important Information tab talks about some technical information, how to find help if you're having some problems with the system. Supervised exams tells you how to arrange for a proctor. You'll need a proctor for the midterm and the final. And some other information that you're going to find helpful. 
All right, we're starting in week one. Our topic in week one is what is income. When you click on the week one tab, you'll find a list of topics and a list of learning objectives, and that'll be true for each week of the course. You're also going to find certain tabs in each week that you'll see every week and certain other tabs that will be there depending upon the materials we're studying. You'll always have a lesson tab, a discussion tab, a quiz tab, and a problem set answer tab. Any additional tabs are additional information for that particular week. When you click on lesson, the website will show you what you're reading assignment is for that week and it will give you a general introduction to the materials that we're going to be studying. It's kind of like the five minute overview that I give when I teach this class live. Your discussion of the materials are going to happen in the discussion board. Now if you haven't gotten your materials yet from the bookstore if you go up to doc sharing and click on it, you'll find that I've posted the first four weeks of materials on the doc sharing website. So you can just click download, get the materials for the week and get started while you're waiting for the bookstore delivery. At the end of each week of materials is a set of questions. And what we're going to be doing during the course is working our way through those questions. The way we're going to do that is for each discussion, if you go up to the topic and click on that down arrow, you'll find pull down menus for each one of the problems. So if you were trying to post an answer or take part in the discussion in problem one, you would select problem one, click go, there's problem one, and you just click the respond button, type in your response, and then click post. At the end of each week, we're going to have a quiz. The quiz is 30 minutes long, and there's no way of pausing it, so be sure you've got 30 minutes available to you when you start the quiz. You start it by clicking on this Begin, begin Quiz button down here. Access dates tell you when you can take the quiz. The quiz is available starting on Thursday of each week, and it has to be completed by Sunday of each week. And because our website is hosted in Colorado, Sunday night ends at 11 p.m. California time. So by 11 p.m. California time, you have to have submitted the quiz. Not started it, submitted it, which means you have to start it no later than 10.30 on Sunday night. But I really wouldn't wait until the last minute to take the quizzes. You also see that there's a date for review of the quiz in the grade book, and that's always going to be the, the day after the quiz ends. So it'll be Monday morning. If you go into your grade book tab, and let me just pick the first person here, this will give you your participation points each week and your quiz score each week. Once you've taken the quiz and your score shows up here, you can click on your score the quiz will open up and it will show you your answers, the correct answers, and my explanation for each one of the problems. And then finally, there will be on Monday, after the quiz closes, an analysis of the problems that will be posted on the website. Okay, that's it for now. So if you have any questions, you know where to post them. And I'll leave you with one of my pictures. I'm a photographer when I'm not teaching. And this is actually a uh, temple in Hong Kong leading you on to the path of learning. See you in class.